Praise God. I just stopped by to talk to you about my one-on-one with God. My one-on-one with God. You know, oftentimes we hear people say, well, if you didn't go to this meeting or you didn't come to this service that we had, you know, um, God must not be in your life or you must not be believing God or you must don't go to church, you know, and that's such a false statement. One of the greatest things that we can have is a one-on-one relationship with God. I'm all for corporate um, prayer and praise and worship and um, corporate fellowship. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time with our brothers and sisters. But I also believe that one of the greatest assets God gave us was that one-on-one time with him. That one-on-one opportunity that we have to read the Bible, to study the Bible, to pray to God and hear directly from him. If you're in a family and there's a lot of people, you ever notice when you have multiple uh, children or multiple siblings and everybody trying to talk at the same time, you can't really get that um, one-on-one like you really want. And I believe that although God hears all of us when we speak and we pray, that one-on-one time with God is that time for us to grow. That's the time for building our relationship with God. That's the time for us to hear what God has specifically designed for our lives, for my individual life, as well as your individual life, my one-on-one with God my one-on-one with God. Think about that. All the times that we out there and we uh, worshiping in a group and a lot of times, you know, by the time we leave there and you get home, by the matter of fact, by the time you get out the door of the service you've attended or the um, program that you've been in, here comes Satan attacking you. And then you start acting like you did, you know, back when you first got in there. You'd be like, man, I could have stayed at home for this. Well, perhaps if you had that one-on-one with God, And you intervene and talk with God every day and allow him to come into your life and speak to you every day. Instead of just on that one particular day when you have that meeting that you go to, that service you go to, that program that you go to, you know, you would have been stronger in that area. How about acknowledging God, letting him know, Lord, look, I'm weak in this area. Lord, I need help in this area. That's the time you talk to God on -on one-on-one where God said, okay, I hear you. I hear what you're saying, my sister. I hear what you're saying, my brother. I'm here to heal you. I'm here to deliver you. But a lot of times we don't get that healing and deliverance because we go to a service, but we go to a program, we stand in the line, and then we get in there and we hear somebody say something to us, and then we fall out, or we sit there and we be like, oh, you know, he spoke to me and the Lord was really in the place and this and that, you know. And then we go home and we get out in the parking lot like 20 minutes later, back to your old self again. That's because you don't have that one-on-one time with God. That's because before you got to that corporate meeting, before you got to that corporate praise, before you got to that corporate worship, you didn't bring God with you because if you had brought him with you, you'd have been stronger in that area. You'd have been talking to him seven days, seven days, seven days. And when that 21st day comes, it's time for us to go to that meeting. Hey, I'm ready, Lord. I'm prayed up. I'm worshiped up. You know what I'm saying? I just spend time with you, my one-on-one time. And then when I get there, when the enemy try to attack me and say something negative, I'll be like, what? Okay. The blood of Jesus. You rebuke your flesh and you won't jump into your flesh. You allow the spirit of God to rule, rest, reign, and abide in you. One-on-one time with God is so important. It builds character. It builds your strength emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. You become stronger in every area of your life. Because trust me, Satan going to fight. Everybody got a demon assigned to them that's going to try to tear them down. But if you spend that one-on-one time with God... Before you get knocked out and be like, oh my goodness, I shouldn't have said that. You'd be like, hey, you hit, catch it. Wait a minute. The devil is a lie. Because last week when I was studying, God began to tell me this, this, this about myself. And you'd be able to regurgitate that word. You'd be able to hear the Holy Ghost. You'd be able to say, hey, you know what, Lord? You told me that. So therefore, I knew it was coming. I'm not surprised because there's no surprises when it comes to what happens to you. God knew it was going to happen, but you didn't know it was going to happen because you're not spending time with him like you should. That one-on-one time with God. That one-on-one time with God. Remember, every day is an opportunity for you to spend that one-on-one time with God. So when you do go to those corporate prayers and corporate praise and those corporate worship and those corporate services and those corporate programs, you'll be prayed up and you'll be all on fire for God. You'll be able to, hey, pass some of that. Whoa, what's going on with her? What's going on with him? They're on fire for God. They've been spending time with the Father. Yes, thank you, Jesus. My one-on-one time with God is not in vain. Glory to God. How about spending some one-on-one time with God? God bless you and God keep you. House Prayer Ministry.